Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are learning how metal roofing fasteners are tested at the Triangle Fastener Corporation Tech Center in Cleveland, Ohio. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, subscribe if you're new here. We release new metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. We have a great video for you today. We are learning how metal roofing fasteners are tested. It's important to know the quality of the products that you put into your metal roof are top notch. So this video goes over in detail how Triangle Fastener tests their various products and product lines for the consumer market. Josh from the technical department at TFC is gonna be demonstrating different machines and different methods they use to prove their fasteners are ready for the ultimate test in metal roofing. So I'm here with the engineering services manager. Can you introduce yourself for me? Uh, my name is Josh Cron. i um, been here at uh, Triangle for two years. Uh, we're in the tech center. This is a test machine we use to, um, to test the, the speed at which our, our screws drill and pierce uh, metal or sometimes wood. It really helps us differentiate between you know, the standard and what we're, we're manufacturing. So we always wanna be better than standard and better than everybody else. So tell me why the drill speed is important. You're only gonna get certain speed with, with certain drill guns. So you wanna replicate that speed if possible. Um, sometimes a faster speed will help you pierce a little faster, but a lot of times if you can slow that down, it helps with uh, the cutting of the material. Okay, so tell me about the materials and the fasteners we're gonna be using in this test. Uh, this is just 24 gauge steel. Um, it's pretty light stuff. Um, this is gonna be for, to kind of simulate a, a roofing application. Yep. Uh, these are our pale type burr busters. They're great for, for piercing and they uh, eliminate burrs. Okay, sounds good. So tell me how the test works. Uh, we put the screw in. You're gonna lower the, the machine down, hit the start button, and it's automatically going to fire up and uh, drill and pierce, and it will measure RPM and the time it takes to do that. Sounds good. Well, let's run a couple screws and then we can take a look at the data. Okay. All right, so what kind of data do we come up with? So here's a test report from the, the test we just did. Um, our standard is 1.5 seconds, um, and here are the times of all the screws. Um, you can see the, uh, the max is 0.72, um, so we're really good on this. Um, really consistent at about half a second. So where does this standard come from? Uh, this is our own standard, kind of based off of industry standards. Yeah. Um, the industry standards are based off of you know, the minimum you want to have, so we want to be better than that. So we set our own standards to make it a little bit tougher for this group and make a better screw. So we just took a look at the pierce test, and that was really good for contractors to see the speed at which you can drill in the uh, fastener. Now we're gonna look at the pullout test, right? right. This is something really great for engineers, designers, architects. Tell me a little bit about this test. The pullout test is a really useful test to tell you at what load the fastener is gonna pull out the material you're putting it into. So that's like one of the main things you're gonna use to pick the size of the fastener and the type. Cool, so uh, when you're actually performing the test, how far does the drill, uh, the screw have to be so inserted? So, this is a gimbal point screw. Uh, we're gonna put this all the way through the material, and we like to see three full threads on the other side of that material. The first couple threads are not gonna be full thread because it's a, a pointed Got fastener, it. so we wanna get three full threads. So this will give you the full pullout value of the test, and we'll be yep. able to see. This is a 5 8 plywood, and uh, we'll see what the load is. All right, let's take a look. All right, so the pullout test was completed. What data are we looking at now? Uh, right here, we're looking at the graph that shows the load versus time. You see as it's uh, pulling, it's a nice, pretty straight curve. Mm -hmm. And then when it starts to pull out the, the wood, um, your load drops off and then you end the test. Um, so you're looking for the maximum uh, for this particular test is 426. And I think it's important to know when we're talking about maximums, an engineer is going to add a safety factor. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Always. You never know what's going on uh, behind the scenes, you know. 
So uh, you always add that safety factor for instances where you, you know, things you just can't predict. Uh, now sometimes we have painted fasteners and uh, it's important to know that the color of the fasteners match to the roof panel that you're going to be installing. So how do you guys ensure that the colors are matched? Uh, we, we use a light box. Um, you know, typically I'll get samples from each shipment. Um, so that way we get a, a consistent look at, you know, over and over and over again, we get the confidence that, right. that we're going to match up. A uh, light box like this has three sources of light. We really concern ourselves with daylight because our fasteners is going to be outdoors. Um, and we just kind of uh, match to a, a sample to uh, the screw we get. So you're matching by eye here and just looking for any types of um, you know, really noticeable color differences right. or something went wrong. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what you're what Yeah, you're it's, for, it's right? a little bit of a judgment call, yeah. but um, you know, the light box is supposed to take out a little bit of variability. Sure. Otherwise, you know, you're in your office under fluorescent lights and it, it doesn't work. Or you go outside and, and still, it could be a cloudy day, sunny day, and you're, it's gonna be a little variation on, on what the color looks like. Big thanks to Josh and big thanks to Triangle Fastener Corporation for letting us have an inside look at their tech center and how they test metal roofing fasteners. Please subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel for more great content and comment down below with any questions. I'd love to talk with you. Thanks so much for stopping by today. As always, I'm Thad Barnett and we will catch you next time.